Hello children. Welcome to another radio learning program for Primary 4 Science. This is one of the radio programs produced by Rwanda Education Board with the support from UNICEF Rwanda and in partnership with Inspire, Educate and Empower Rwanda, IEE. My name is Teacher Gerald. I will be teaching Primary 4 Science. Children, as always, get your pens and notebooks for taking notes, doing exercises, homework that you'll be given, and be ready for learning. After getting the writing materials ready, may you sit next to the radio, tune it to be loud enough, and be ready to listen to it keenly. I hope that one is very clear. Now, parents, I would like to continue reminding you to be close to the children and follow up what they are doing and support them where necessary. Thank you. Now, children, let us have our warm-up song before we start learning. I will sing the song two times as you listen. Then you join me to sing for the third time. Is that clear? Great. Now, this is the song. I have got joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Down in my heart, down in my heart. I've got a joy, joy, joy down in my heart. Down in my heart today. I have got joy, 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 joy down in my heart, down in my heart, down in my heart. I have got joy, 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 joy down in my heart, down in my heart today. Okay, children, let us sing together. Go. I have got joy, 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 joy down in my heart, down in my heart, down in my heart. I've got joy, joy, joy down in my heart, down in my heart today. Oh, that is great. Okay, children, can you remember what we did last time? Very good. In our last lesson, we learned about plant seeds and stages of germination and types of plants. Is that correct? Fine. Now, can you mention the three types of plants that we saw last time? Can you mention the three types of plants that we saw last time? Marvelous. The three types of plants that we learned about are the trees, the shrubs, and the herbs. Is it correct? Good. Today, we are going to discuss parts of a plant and their functions. Parts of a plant and their functions. Can you write that one down? Good. Now, repeat after me. Parts of a plant and their functions. Good. Like other organisms, plants also have different parts. And each part has a specific function to perform. Let us now look about them. Remember, we have some plants that have got flowers and those that do not have flowers as well. Those that have flowers are called flowering plants and those that do not have flowers are non-flowering plants. Is that clear? Great! A flowering plant has many parts. These are the roots, the stems, the leaves, the flowers, and the fruits. 
Is that clear? Perfect. So, let us discuss the functions of these parts of the plant. And I will start with the part which is far, far down in the soil. And that is... Good, the roots. Now, part number A. Write that one down. The roots. It is in the underground part of the plant. The root is the underground part of the plant. It has the following functions. The roots have the following functions. One, the roots fix the plant into the soil. The roots fix the plant into the soil. Number two, the roots absorb water and minerals from the soil. The roots absorb water and minerals from the soil. Water and minerals are very important for plants to grow healthy. Number three, in some plants, roots store extra food. In some plants, roots store extra food. For example, the carrot, the radish, and the beetroot. They store food. The part number two that we are going to see, part B, is the stem. The stem. The functions of the stem. One, the stem is the aerial part of a plant. The aerial part of a plant because we see it outside the ground. It has the following functions. Number one, the stem supports branches which bear leaves, the buds, flowers, and fruits. Point number two, the stem transports water and minerals from the roots to the leaves and fruits. It transports water and minerals from the roots to the leaves and the fruits. The function number three. In some plants, stems store extra food. We eat these stems. For example, Irish potato, the ginger, and sugarcane. Is it clear? Very good. The part number C, the leaf. It is the most important part of a plant. The leaf is the most important part of a plant. Most plants have green leaves. Some functions of a green leaf are... A green leaf makes food for the plant. Do you get that? Good. A green leaf makes food for the plant. Air and water vapor go in and out of the leaf. That it helps the plant to breathe. Air and water vapor go in and out of the leaf. Thus it helps the plant to breathe. Number three. In some plants, leaves store extra food. Leaves store extra food. We eat these leaves. For example, the spinach, the cabbage, and the coriander. All those, they store some food. Now, number D. The part number D is the flower. My friends, flowers are colorful and pretty. When we look at them, they are pretty. They are attractive. They are the reproductive parts of a plant. That means that is where the plant have other young ones from. They are the reproductive parts of a plant. Some functions of the flower are, number one, flowers turn into fruits. Flowers turn into fruits. Number two, they give off a sweet smell. So they are used to decorate houses 
and gardens. You do get that. Wow. Point number three. Flowers like pyrethrum are natural insecticides. Flowers like pyrethrum are natural insecticides. I will spell pyrethrum. P Y R E T H R U M pyrethrum. They are natural insecticides. That means they are processed to make some medicine that we use in killing insects. Number four, we eat some flowers. For example, cauliflower and broccoli. You know that one very well. In the markets, mom can go and then buy some flowers like the cauliflower and the broccoli. We eat them as food. Then part number E is fruits. Fruits. Fruits are produced from flowers. Fruits like mango and coconut are one-seeded. They have only one seed. Other fruits like the popo and the guava have many seeds. Some functions of fruits are some functions of fruits are 1. Fruits protect the seeds. Fruits protect the seeds. Number 2. Fruits are a part of our diet. Fruits are a part of our diet. Number 3. Fruits are rich in minerals and vitamins. Fruits are rich in minerals and vitamins. They keep us healthy. Number four. Fruits bear seeds which help in reproduction. Fruits bear seeds which help in reproduction. Number five. Seeds of some fruits like blackjack, the pepper, are used as medicine and spices. Seeds of some fruits like blackjack and pepper are used as medicine and spices. Do you get that? The black pepper is medicine. Are we together, children? Fantastic. Now, I want us to take time to see some of the main points that we have been taking and talking about in this topic. What have we been taking as points and what have we been talking about in this topic? Do you understand where we are going? Fine. The first one, epigeal germination. Epigeal germination. This is the type of germination in which cotyledons come out of the ground. The word number two, germination. Germination is the process by which a seed grows into a seedling. The process by which a seed grows into a seedling. Number three, our word number three, the herb. A herb is a flowering plant whose stem above the ground does not become woody. The stem of the herbs above the ground does not become woody. Is that clear? Great. Then the fourth word is hypogeal. Hypogeal germination. Good. The type of germination in which cotyledons remain below the ground. Hypogeal germination, the type of germination in which cotyledons remain below the ground. Then we talked about seeds. Seed is a small hard part of a plant from which a new plant grows. 
the hard part of a plant from which a new plant grows. We also talked about shrubs. A shrub? What is a shrub? A shrub is a small to medium-sized woody plant. A small to medium-sized woody plant. Then we talked of the stem. The stem is the main part of the shoot of a plant. Stem. The stem is the main part of the shoot. Then we talked about a tree. Is that correct? Yes. A tree is a tall plant with a trunk and branches made of wood. A tall plant with a trunk and branches made of wood. Is it clear? Great. Let us continue, my friends. When seeds get enough air, enough water, and light, they grow into new plants or seedlings. When seeds get enough air, water, and light, they grow into new plants or seedlings. Is that fine? Wow! There are different types of plants such as, that is what we saw again, there are different types of plants such as trees, the herbs, and shrubs. The trees, the herbs, and shrubs. Number C. The branch, the fruit, the flower, and the leaf these ones are forming the stem. Now, the stem and root are the main parts of a plant. The stem and the roots are the main parts of a plant. Number D. A green leaf makes food for the plant. A green leaf makes food for the plant. Is that clear? Wow. The last point. Flowers are the reproductive parts of a plant. Flowers are the reproductive parts of a plant. Do you get that? Wow. That means when you see the flowers, that is where reproduction will take place and young plants and seedlings will come out of the flowers that we see. They come in different colors, different smells, but they are the reproductive parts of a plant. Have you understood? Marvelous! That will be the end of our lesson today. You are good children, and I hope to meet you in the next radio lesson. Until then, goodbye. Goodbye, 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 teacher. Goodbye, children. See you next.